الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for those who have taqwa, those who fear him. Qala subhana fi kitabi al-kareem, wa man yattaqi allaha yaj'allahu makhraja, wa yarzakuhu min haythu la yahtasib, wa man yatawakal ala allahi fuwa hasfu, inna allaha baligu amrihi qad ja'ala allahu li kulli shay'in qadra. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem, And whoever fears Allah and keeps his duty to him, he will make a way for him to get out from every difficulty. And he will provide him from sources he never could imagine. And whosoever puts his trust in Allah, then he will suffice him. Verily Allah will accomplish his purpose. Indeed, Allah has set a measure for all things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised us from his promise and he never fails in his promise subhanahu wa ta'ala that the one who fears him will be provided for and they will have ease with the difficulty they fear. But unfortunately for us, many times we persist in disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we don't come back to Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our shortcomings and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad of the sunnah. Ibn Kathir, rahimahullah ta'ala, said regarding these ayat in his tafsir, in the tafsir mukhtasar, قَالْ وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَ وَيَرْزَقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثْ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And whoever fears Allah, then he will make for him a way out from his difficult, provide for him in ways that he couldn't imagine. Ibn Kathir says about this ayat, he says, Ay, wa man yattaqi la fi ma amaruhu bi, wa tark amma nahahu anhu, yaj'allahu min amrihi khrajan, he says that the meaning is that whoever fears Allah and what he has commanded him to do, meaning that he does what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded him to do, what, what Allah has commanded him to do in the Quran of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he leaves off he has prohibited, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited, then Allah will make for him a way out from his difficulty. And then in the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and that he will provide for him in ways that he couldn't imagine, he says, Ay, la The ayah is that in ways that the person could never imagine that he will be provided for. Those are just some of the benefits from this ayah. Very simple benefits. And we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to be of those who fear Him and those who strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.